guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Ella and we are going to create a new card today so um, with this stamp set I've purchased the stamp set myself uh, because it's from new catalog so it's from this lovely magazine I'm just showing you where you can purchase it it's available now in UK so this is how it looks like and this is what I got it from um, <clears throat> It's a rare ARF 21 piece collection. I've already used some of those stamps, so you're going to see my video uh, on my channel. And um, let's get going. So we're going to make another card today. And this time we're going to use some of my stash. So I've prepared a panel already. This is my leftover white piece of cardstock. And it's going to fit over here. So this is the remaining and this year I decided to use all my stash. So this is this is just a box that can store my show you guys lots of lines. So they are these are colorful lines that I'm using over this year and this box this box is going to be empty uh, by the end of 2022 because I want to use it and if you watch my space, you will see how many cards you can make with it, okay? Now let's get going. So what we're going to start is um, card. My card base is four and a one eighth by uh, five and three quarters, standard H2 size. I don't know, H2? Well, anyway, it's just a small basic. It's half of A4 and I fold it in half. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a panel before we created the panel with different colors and today I found this lovely um, stash line. I must have used it in scrapbook because I do lots of scrapbooking as well and it's going to go on the side. So because I'm using yellow over here I am definitely going to use some yellow on the card and I'm going to be using those three squeeze lemonade curved pumpkin and and the apple from the oxides i don't have too many of them so you won't be seeing me now you can decide where you want to go from the top to the bottom but i usually do a um, typical situation where you start the darker is at the bottom the lighter is the lighter is on the top so this is how we're going to go and I like oxides, I don't have too many of them, so I'm going to learn how to blend in. This is my mat, this is just acetate with a piece of washi tape so I don't lose it. Sometimes when I craft uh, and because you can't see it, <clears throat> because you can't see it, this is how it ends up. So this is one. I'm not sure how much I want the red, but it looks pretty cool. These are just like normal sponges. You can get them anywhere. If you want to know where I get them, I think I got them from the craft show that I go to, Ali Pali. I don't have many of them because I don't stash them. I have lots of these ones. So I've got enough for one project of this. Some people have a lot, one per each color, but I, I don't have enough space to store of them. Plus, I'm not that fast about having so many of them. I'm going to put some yellow. Obviously, you have to clean. I should have started with the lightest one. But I don't really mind. And now I'm going to twist it around. So this thread is going to be here. And I'm going to start with squeeze lemonade. So it's going to be light. I hope it's going to match my yellow. Yeah. So make sure that you've got this yellow showing off. So it matches your background. And I think... Usually I do half and half. Uh, in most of my videos you will see that I divide all the panels in three. But today I'm going to go outside my comfort zone. And I'm going to have a little bit like oval. So the orange is mostly going to be like oval shape. 
rather than rather than my typical one third, one third and one third. Hopefully this will be okay and now some orange. Now, the good thing about Distress Oxide is that even if you start in the middle, they're very easy to blend. So you don't have to worry about too much leaving the stains. I know at the moment it does, but later you won't see it because it really does blend nicely. Okay. I'm just going to make sure that I just have a nice oval. Yeah, a little bit here. Okay, and now I would like some yellow, more yellow. Mm -hmm. More yellow. Okay, I think I've got it. And now some. Well, to be able to precisely blend in you can use brushes if you have brushes the brushes works completely different but i'm not bothered so much about it because i'm going to cover it up with some stamps as long as i've got the patterns and it works well you can always blend it keep blending in with like red and it's going to blend in but i know that most of my card is going to be covered in stamps Okay, now I am going to, this is going to be the last part, so <clears throat> the stamps I'm going to be using is the Rare Earth, so I already have one that I'm going to be using, so I'm going to stamp this one, but I would like to stamp this one as well, and... Mm -hmm. Oh, sentiment, guys. Don't forget about the sentiments. Okay, so shall I start with the sentiment so I know where I'm going? And I like this one. Leave life in the full bloom. So my sentiment will be all the way to the top. Because I like it. I do like the sentiment. Mm -hmm. And now um, I will use this one, this one. Which one? And this one is already here. Very similar. What about this one? I have not used this one. So we can use this one. This one is wonky, guys. So you have to... It would be good if you just rearrange it. And... Oh, this one is fun. Look, there's another one fun. Okay, so this one is fun as well. Okay, I've got a few. So let's start. And because this one is on a side, I am going to stamp it like so. Okay. Here you go. And now the next one. The next one will be the biggest one. It's only because it takes quite a lot of space. So I'm just thinking how much I would like to have it. And where I would like to have it. Mm -hmm. I think over here would be nice. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And now this one, another one, big one. So it's not super big, but it's still like quite tall. So you can. This one is tall, so this one will go all the way to the top. <clears throat> it can go all the way to the top like so. And this one can go all the way to the bottom. But because I don't like to <clears throat> then I don't like to stamp on top of mine. Mm -hmm. So I am going to stamp this one here. Yeah. <clears throat> And now the tall one. The very tall one. So the very tall one can go all the way to the top. Yeah, and they can overlap each other, so don't worry guys. 
I don't really mind the overlap. I've got this one as well. There's another one. That's like a tree, maybe grass or something. Just be careful, don't put your stamps. Okay, okay. So this will go all the way at the bottom. There you go. Do I need anything more? <clears throat> Let me have a look. I think I think I would like this one all the way to the top. Yeah. So what you're going to do is just connect connect one of the lines that you already have and just put it all the way to the top and stamp. Yep, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. And now this one will go all the way to the bottom as a shade. That's it. I'm happy with what I've created. So it's got a couple of the stamps and the sentiment and everything else. Now what you have to do is put a tape. Yeah. So this is my tape. I think I've used too big tape, but that's okay. I've got some more smaller. Yeah, I like it. And now what you're going to do? This is um, this is one of the uh, card sketches that I have in my um, in my lovely in my lovely book. I've got a book that I've created over like 15 years now and I use different sketches so some of them come easy to me in the head because I know exactly what I'm doing and sometimes sometimes it's not that easy so now I have to choose okay so this is the lines use the lines if you need to this one is more. Okay, so this one will be here. Perfect. And now you chop. Okay. Now the next one. Be careful with this. So I'm going to turn it around. Again, I'm using this line. The grid line. Okay, now this one is thick as well. Chop to the size. Okay, this we don't need definitely. And now all I gotta do is just pop it with some foam tape. Okay, so what we're going to do is just take this one. This is my foam tape. Yes, I would like to pop it. So it's got some dimension. Don't put um, foam tape only on the only on the edges because if you're going to post it, it might collapse in the process when you send it. Don't worry about those little ones. These are my leftovers, and sometimes. I stick them, but I'm going to take them off before we put them. So yeah, put quite a lot of tape. So when you post your card, it's not going to collapse. Okay, and now those little pieces, they go back onto my phone. Okay, now you take the backing off. Mm-hmm. 
Oops. Okay. Now I'm quite sure where I want to do it, but if you are not, if you're just a beginner crafter, I guess I suggest that you use a glue for that instead of 3D foam. I know exactly how I want it and what I want it, so I know how my cut should look. And this is the end of this cut. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you like it, click the notification button to see more of my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!